Hi, welcome to Off Leash Public Affairs. Well, on this short leash subject, we're here in Oak Park in Santa Barbara to learn about the French Festival, which of course is centered around Bastille Day in mid-July. So we have our French Festival uh, founder and uh, lead organizer. Hi, what's your name? Bonjour, je m'appelle, I'll speak English. Steve Hogerman is my name, Santa Barbara born and raised. Muy bien. And how long has the French Festival been going on in Santa Barbara? Over two decades. We started in 1988. This will be our 22nd annual. Wow. And um, we're here in Oak Park, which is famous for being a big venue. How many people do you expect this year in 2009? And how has past years been going? The French Festival, and some locals don't realize this, is one of the largest events in Santa Barbara. Right. After Fiesta and Solstice, there's not much that I can think of that's larger. Over 20,000 people converge on Oak Park to be French for the weekend. Uh, many people, of course, from around the Santa Barbara Goleta area, but also thousands from throughout Southern California and beyond. It is the largest French celebration anywhere in the Western United States. So Steve, tell us what will people find and do at the French Festival this year? It, they, will be, they will become French for the weekend. Uh, there will be a... Uh, muy bien. <laughs> Très bien. Um, uh, there will be uh, non-stop entertainment on three different stages. Uh, over on the Moulin Rouge stage, you're going to find three different troops performing Can Can a total of 12 times, uh, including the West Coast Ballet's version of Le Con Con. Uh, there'll be a, a, a lady doing Edith Piaf, there'll be Grand Opera, there's one stage devoted to nothing but accordions. Over on the Eiffel Tower stage, um, Jean uh, Pierre will be singing, and um, oh, uh, Django Reinhardt band. Django Reinhardt is, is the creator of Le Jazz Haut de Paris, Hot Jazz of Paris, a very famous guitarist from the 20s and 30s, Gypsy Jazz they call it. And then there'll be entertainment that you wouldn't really think about, but it is French, French in the sense of the language, Francophony, not just uh, the European culture. All right, this is part of the old French Empire, right? That's the former, for better or worse, the French had right. colonies, and that's the way it is. So, we have um, uh, drumming from black Africa, Senegalese drumming. We have a uh, French Moroccan tribal belly dance with Alexandra King. And then there's even more off the beat, but this is a show for a lot of fun and we have the famous poodle parade. Right. Canine topiary. Um, so that's a hoot. Um, and then we have uh, the femme fatale drag review. Ooh la la. Excellent. And uh, it sounds crazy when you hear about it, but when you see it, it is just a riveting, hilarious, entertaining show. Uh, but there's a total of 48 hours of entertainment over the weekend, all crammed into those two days. You can't see it all. It's like a three-ring circus. And the food? Tell us about the food. Oh, uh, when you think of a French festival, you have to think about food. So I sort of envision this as a, well, Oak Park and our climate, we are the American Riviera. So it's very much like Provence, like the south of France, right. which is dear to me. So it's like you're walking through a, an outdoor street in the south of France and there's all these different uh, uh, vendors that you can choose food from. So there are not one, not two, but three different creperies. Uh, crepes are the most popular French food to Americans. There's also quiche, escargot, as you mentioned, um, barbecue, salads, and also foods from other Francophone cultures, French Cajun food, French Vietnamese food, because right. that was once French Indochina. Also beer and wine, uh, Cronenborg French beer, Perrier water, um, uh, Orangina, which is a French soft drink, and, and on and on, and pastries, desserts, baguettes, croissants, uh, on and on and on. We're here in Oak Park, and, and Off Leash Public Affairs is about Santa Barbara events. Um, how has it been working with the City Parks and Recreation Department to, to put on this festival every year? Well, what can I say? The government is always very nice and they like the festival, but there are mountains of paperwork and ever-increasing fees, right. which in my opinion explain why there are now only two festivals in Oak Park. The French and the Greek are the only ones left. So, so really an organizer um, needs to have enough participants buying stuff at the event so the whole event can recover their investment. The French festival is free admission. Right. 
there is no ticket. It's free to the public. Uh, full of non-stop entertainment on three stages and lots of things to do. Um, so yeah, we. but it's an expensive affair to put on. You need insurance. You need the logistics of porta-potties and garbage. Right. Those kind of practical things. As well as uh, electricians and sound people and, and on and on and on. And a lot of fees and uh, permits. So your revenue comes from where again? Uh, corporate sponsors. Uh -huh. That's a tough one this year in this economy. Yes. It's diminishing. Um, and then uh, vendor fees to pay uh -huh. to be here. Uh, and then some percentages from some of the other vendors. So tell us again how people can, when is it and how people can find out more. It's always Bastille Day weekend in mid-July. Mm -hmm. This year, July 11th and 12th, 2009, uh, from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And uh, you can get tons of information at www.frenchfestival.com. Frenchfestival.com here in Santa Barbara. Well, this is David Pritchett for Off Leash Public Affairs. Uh, bonjour, Alvidal Zane, bye bye. Au revoir. <laughs>